and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be carrying on the main scenario of Shadowbringers. And as always, hello from Ifri. So I did a few fates. I leveled up a bit. I'm now level 76, and I also did the level 76 tank quest. So we are here with Yishtola uh, in the Ratika Great Wood at 3813. So let's talk to her. The quest is called Bearing With It. Yishtola wears a haunted expression. Emmet Selk's words have clearly f found their mark. Though recent events plainly warrant further discussion, I think it's best that we wait until Alphanod and the others are present. Emmet Selk's included. How convenient that he should choose this moment to keep to the shadows. Well, no matter. For the present, we should return to for now and make certain of the Amoran's withdrawal. After that, Sliverbow. The blessed are no doubt elated by what has become of the sky. Okay, so let's quickly go back to for now. We've also unlocked flying in the zone, thankfully. Okay, so let's go. Right, so let's see what she has to say. So you are returned and unharmed, I see. Indeed, I am pleased to report that the Light Warden is no more, thanks in large part to you. That the death of a single Sin Eater should make such a difference. Um, as our numbers waned, so too did our hope that the ruins we have devoted our lives to guarding would ever find purpose. Yet here you are, the allies for whom we have waited these many centuries. And with your arrival came the chance to pass on our legacy, the ancient wisdom of the Empire. That alone would have been reward enough. Never did we imagine it would serve to banish the light that pervaded the, these woods. On behalf of the uh, Vis, our forebears, and the late Emperor of Ronka, you have our deepest thanks. It is we who should be thanking you. Our journey through the Kitana Ravel proved most enlightening. To be privy to such knowledge is an honour. One for which we never hoped. Um, please, you need not be so humble. We but, sorry, we but do ourselves as decreed by the late emperor. Would that he were still with us to express his gratitude in person? But sister does not mean our duty is fulfilled. To our allies, perhaps, but the ruins cannot be left unguarded. So long as we live here in the, these woods, the secrets of Ronka must not fall into the wrong hands. Is Runar still here? No, we escorted him back to Sliverbow shortly after you set out. If you would return to the Knights Blessed, we will not keep you any longer. I suspect that they will be glad of your company. So, thank you, Almet. I look forward to the day when we might share a more leisurely visit to the ruins of Ronka. We'll await your return, then. It was a nice zone. I, I did like Retika. Okay, so let's return to Sliverbow. Returned, and none the worse for wear, I see. You needn't worry about us. 
What became of the Yamoran soldiers, more importantly? They turned tail and fled at the sight of the night sky. The children of the Everlasting Dark have also retreated back to Woven Oath. Try as they might, they could not deny the truth of their own eyes. A sunless sea of heaven, full of love and grace, where none need no pain or suffering. In that moment, when the sky's light began to wane, I knew our prayers had been answered. That we were doomed to face oblivion at life's end no longer. When first we met, I harbored certain suspicions about you. Now I see that I was right. You are the bringers of shadow, the warriors of darkness, the saviors for whom we have prayed for so long. I suppose you're not entirely wrong. But we are not worthy of your reverence, nor have we any desire to be worshipped. If you would pray, pray for your children, that they may one day know a better world. I will do as you say, but please, let us at least hold a feast to celebrate your victory. You deserve that much. I'm sorry, Runar, but there is still much to be done and scant time in which to do it. We must go. All of us. For we share the same path and the same fate. Uh, calm down. So be it. I ask only that you hold us in your hearts. As we would hold you in ours. Now. And ever after. By the boundless dark. This I swear. Okay, so that's our quest done. Next quest is called Out of the Wood. You cannot help but feel something is bothering Yishtola. So, though it pains me to leave, it is time I return with you and the others to the Crystarium. But before we go, might I speak with you in private? I will await you in my chambers. Awesome. I guess she... probably she just wants to enjoy her surroundings before she leaves. So thank you for coming. I fought to keep my suspicions to myself, but after witnessing your victory at Ratika Falls, I fear they proved true, so I must share with them with you. From the first when we met at Fort uh, Gone, your Aether has appeared, tainted. Uh, suffused with an overabundance of light, not unlike the Sinia's. When you defeated the Light Warden, I fear the light which poured forth from it was not negated by Hydaelyn's blessing, rather it was absorbed into your being. Yoyanje also suspects as much, though he is unwilling to share his thoughts on the matter. One thing is certain, with every Warden you defeat, the danger to you grows greater, greater perhaps than we could imagine. If we begin to feel anything strange, anything at all, pray and for me at once. Um, you should hurry before the others begin to worry. Once I have sorted my things here, I will join you. Okay, so let's wait at the entrance. Okay, so it's a little bit far, so once we get there, we will continue. Okay, so we've made it to the destination. So I guess we're on our journey back to the Crystarium. So we took one last patrol of the perimeter. All things considered, Sliverbow remains relatively unscathed. 
Thanks to the antidote, all those who were poisoned will make a full recovery. And with the night sky returned, their prayers have at least been answered. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Shall we be off then? Art thou certain this is the best? I'll not deny that there is part of me that wishes I could stay. For two years I have lived with the Blessed, learned their culture, even going so far as to adopt Master Matoya's name as my own. But I pray I did honour to it. Now is not the time for doubt or hesitation. Come, we must return to the Custorium. Okay, so let's go to the Christorium. So I guess this is another zone we can tick off the list. So I feel at this point it will be the second half of Armorang, second half of Colusia, whichever order, and then onwards to the final zone. Who knows how long that's going to take, but yeah. Like at, le at least we're past the um, the peak. So all things considered, it is hardly surprising that Alphanod and Elise have yet to arrive. But where is the Exarch? My friends, tis good to see you all again. There he is. So Alphanod, it has been too long. I assume your presence here means you've brought word of the Warden hiding in Retika? Found and slain, you say? I should have known. Yormor has but recently dispatched soldiers to all corners of Novaran to defend them. I am glad to see their efforts were wasted on the Great Wood. Speaking of Ulmor, what came of your meeting with Orfri? Yes, about that. It proved to be... Ugh. Exarch, you mustn't push yourself. Your time away from the tower has clearly taken its toll. No doubt you all are tired as well, having travelled so far. Why don't we all take a much needed rest before we discuss our findings? I thought to propose the very same. After your clash with the Warden, you deserve a chance to recuperate. It's settled then. We reconvene after everyone has had time to settle in. Okay. I guess it'll give me a chance to talk to the um, Warrior of Darkness. It's been a while since we spoke to him, that's for sure. Anyway, so let's teleport to the Pendants. Okay, so we need to go this way. Yep, talk to this guy. So, welcome back, miss. Returned from your lengthy excursion, I take it. Well, your room has been made ready. If you'd care to retire? Yep. Very good. I pray you sound sleep and pleasant dreams. Nice. So that's complete. I always take the coins because I can sell them for cash. Though to be honest, these days I'm hoarding them. Just in case we get another dome and restoration type quest. So there's a light sealed inside you, is there? You wouldn't know it from the outside. You look the same as you ever did to me. I must say, stay the course for the others. And what if that changes? What if it overwhelms me? And I suppose it's not to do but rest. True enough. 
Packing up and going home isn't really an option, is it? If you don't face the music here, it'll only come and find you there. Think he was telling the truth? Emmett, I mean. All that rot about Heidlin being no different from any other primal. If so, what would that make her blessing? Are we just slaves to her will? I mean, it, it would explain why, when she gave us her blessing, that the other primals were not able to take us, because we were already claimed. It makes perfect sense. Ah, let's pay him no mind. Lies the Asian stock in trade. Villains, heroes, all a matter of perspective, they'd have you believe. One man's fond memory, another's waking nightmare. Me, I'm no saint or saviour. Just another sinner. And I know damn well I'm in no position to judge. When I saw the people of Slitherbow look up at the sky and celebrate the return of the dark, it felt good. It was moments like that that I cherished. Much more than the thrill of adventure. The quiet after the storm. I always took comfort in that. But meanwhile, in Golem Old. It's nice that we're seeing more of Golem Old. It means it, it is a zone that has been developed in case we ever visit it someday. What did the scouts have to report? Several skirmishes, but nothing of consequence. The fighting seems to have taken its toll on both sides. A stalemate, then. The Alliance has done well to hold the line for so long. <laughs> but then they did have Ishgardian reinforcements. Nevertheless, neither side has any appetite for a prolonged engagement. Tis but the calm before the storm. And should the Empire choose to bring their full might to bear? To say nothing of Black Rose. All the more reason to hasten our search. How close are your people to identifying our next target? Close enough. Though I have received some troubling intelligence. One of our generals posted to the Alamegan front recently disappeared without trace from the battlefield at Gimlet Dark. Odd. Dead seems unlikely. Fled less so. I wonder where he'll turn up. Were I a betting man, I would say here, in the capital. Not that any deserter who valued his life would contemplate returning, but a corpse might, given the right encouragement. In the manner of his royal remains, you mean? Elidibus plainly has no need of a new host, so the question becomes who? It may be that another player has joined the game. Something to consider at any rate. But come, there is work to be done. These bloodless games make for poor sport. May happy father may. I am a stranger to him in this body. Besides, there is but one hand that can make me whole again. 
My enemy. My friend. I know not what entertainment occupies you, but if you will not clear the way for me, then I shall seize the reins of fate once more. There's obviously something going on. This historian's getting invaded, maybe. So we got the achievement, Journey to the Past. Let's talk to the manager. The next quest is called When It Rains. Judging by his countenance, the manager of sweets has ill tidings for you. Um, ah, I suspected that you might be awake. I could scarce imagine you sleeping through such a commotion. An entire host of Sinias appears to be advancing upon the Crystorium. Emergency measures are being taken as we speak. Rest assured, however, that we are safe as long as we remain under the Crystal Tower's aegis. You may return to your quarters if you wish. Yes, I thought you might feel that way. And I cannot say that your assistance would be anything less than welcome. I must remain here to disseminate information to the other residents, but you are under no such obligation, and thus free to aid any of the townsfolk who may be in distress. The uh, um, Exedra tends to become a point of congregation in times of need, crowded with the seeking solace in companionship. You would have my personal gratitude if you would offer succor to those there. Fair enough. So let's see if there's any title from the latest quest. Okay, Seeker of Hidden Truths. So let us, first of all, me being Mr. Crafting, have to repair my gear. And then, let's see. Let's order it by name. Uh, okay, so next page. What's it called? Seeker of Hidden Truths? Seeker. Seeker. Seeker of Hidden Truths. There we go. Okay, so where do we need to go? That way. So let's hurry it up a bit. There is a war. I'm hoping the next expansion will end up going to Gala mode. I think it's long overdue. I mean, Yoshi B was talking about that... God, when Heavensward was coming out, that eventually will go to Gala mode. So a few town folks are about, and you spy none who appear to be in distress. Mifri. I've only just returned from Armorang, yet I find the Crystoria moments from being beset by Sin Eaters. Where are they coming from? They shouldn't be possible. We restored the darkness. Well, this is a fortunate coincidence. Brother, tell me that you have some idea why this is happening. I may, but for the moment, we'll need to postpone such discussions in favour of action. The Crystal Exarch is preparing to deploy a barrier around the Crystorium as we speak. Ensuring that he is able to do so should be our first concern. There are a number of instruments placed about the Crystorium that function as anchors for the bearer barrier. I am on my way to activate them now. 
which case three pairs of hands would be better than one. Very well, I'll take the one to the south. I shall deal with the northern apparatus then. Will you handle the western two? Uh, they're ensconed on platforms extended from the upper level of the Aetherite Plaza. Okay, we can do that. Right. So obviously the um, what's it called? The Sin Eaters are getting desperate now because let's be honest, we're, we are fighting back. So of course it makes sense for them to want to crumb to this Crystorium because we're the source of their pain, let's say. <laughs> Can't help it. It's just what we do. It is a beautiful town, I've got to say. Now, one thing I've wondered so far about the expansion is how much of what is happening here is just here. So, for example, when Emmett Selk said that Heidelin and... Um, is it Rauga are uh, primals? Maybe it's true in the first, and it's not true elsewhere. I don't know. I'm just doing theory crafting. I'm just curious, that's all. Anyway, so let's um, activate this anchor. Are we going to have like a Hogwarts moment when the barrier comes up? So, despite having very little idea how it functions, it appears that you have activated the device successfully. Okay, so next device is all the way over there. So, let's try and hurry up. Because obviously I can't mount in this zone. <laughs> I'm just curious what the future is for the game, because... I don't want to say, I don't want to fill anyone with doubt, that's the thing. But we'll see as well if in the next year or two we get any announcements about Final Fantasy 16. Because 15 is, is over, you know, 15 is long gone. So hopefully they're putting all the time and resources after 7 Remake into 16. I don't see a reason why the series should stop. Not at this point, anyway. Nice. City to sighted! They're coming! Assume that a few of them will break through. Excellent. The barrier is holding. That's good news for the Crystarium, but what of the rest of Lakeland? Wakanda will. Uh, sorry, Lakeland will be fine. Lena and the city guard have taken to the field. Thancred and the others have already joined them. Let us do the same. Oh wow, okay, so we have a fight now. So we ought to join the Vanguard as soon as possible. If the number of Eaters we just saw is any indication, we'll be facing a formidable host. So, duty calls commence battle for when it rains. Level sync is in effect. If you're above the maximum allowed level, it will be synced as follows. Okay, so level 76 is a max level.
I mean, you know the phrase, when it rains it pours. I guess it's kind of nice because we already have got the um, NPCs helping us, the trusts, so they can easily add it in for these quests as well. What lovely weather, just what we needed. It seems to the battle has already begun in earnest. Make haste. So, Crystallian forces are engaging the Sin Eaters at various locations across Lakeland. Assist them in defeating the Eaters before they are decimated. If only I had my Thunder Fury. Okay. Let's give it our all. Okay, so we can't actually mount up. Cool. Next. Help is at hand. Okay, we're gonna follow Elise. Let's see if we can defend this guy. Done. Thank you. I do miss stone skin and protect and a lot of abilities that they removed. Let's follow Elise. Seems to be okay. And thankfully, they don't have much health. To me. That sounds good. of them to fall if possible.
I shall protect thee. You will rue the day you cross my path. Okay, I think we're okay. Let's hurry up. Let's <laughs> just like, try and keep up with them. Because we can't mount up. Okay, they're all taking a shell, and nevertheless, we can't allow the ears to gain any ground. Got it. Seven on one. Ah, rip. Oh, well. I wanted to pr protect Menphilia, but... I guess that's not a choice we can make. I figured that Alpha Node and Yestola and Yurionja would be fine. So it is as we feared. But our task is as it ever was turn the tide. I guess we have to just defend the circle and drive away the invaders. Let's try one at a time. Okay. I do like that finally Paladins have got a gap closer. It's about time. <laughs> I feel like I need to fix my key bindings a bit. On your feet. I guess if we get overwhelmed, hopefully one of them will push out a uh, limit break or something.
Okay. There's the mini boss. Okay, let me assess the NPCs. Will suffice. My strength is yours. May the twelve guide you. Well, let me. The stars shall grant you. Let's give them a show. With heart and steel. Nice. I knew they were going to pull some over-the-top ability. It seemed obvious. Almost there. Almost. That was fun. I like that fight.
We need only hold out a little while longer. Reinforcements are coming, remember? The captain said so. We're going to be all right. Run! Run, damn you! The warrior of darkness has returned. The bloody knight has returned. So stay with me, eh? You can't go dying now. God damn it! Please let this work. Please let this work. Damn it. <laughs> no. No, no. Stay back. Stay back. It's probably like I tried to, but Why did you spare me. Why? What have I done to deserve this mercy? Forward! Forward! If you can still hold a sword, follow me! Wounded to the rear! Weapons and the ready! Let's make this count! Fight and struggle. Seek salvation by your own hands. Though the losses be grave, endure them. Though the victories be hollow, claim them. Awesome. Okay, so let's talk to Elise. So, it seems that we've driven them back, for the time being at least. Uh, the wounded have been collected and are undergoing treatment now. Once they're ready to be moved, we'll have them carried back to the Crystorium. The dead as well, of course. Those whose bodies remain, anyway. Kind of morbid. So, yeah. So anyway guys, I think that's a good time to end. So if you liked that episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch a random video over there, you can watch the latest upload down there, or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you guys, bye bye.